There are many problems will occur when your iPhone was dropped, in addition to common screen breakage, one of the most problematic is that the device won't turn on after a fall. What should I do if the iPhone cannot be turned on after drop, please follow the steps below to try to fix it. Step 1, Charge your iPhone. If it won't start after iPhone was dropped, the first thing you need to do is try charging the iPhone for sometimes, if you see the Apple logo appearing, then your iPhone will turn on automatically. Step 2, Force Restart iPhone. You can press the volume up button and release it quickly, then press the volume down button and release it quickly, then hold the power button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. Step 3, Repair iPhone using iOS System Repair Tool. The third way is Joyo Share Alt Fix. It is a professional iOS repair tool can fix more than 150 iPhone issues, not only iPhone, but also iPad, iPod Touch. Firstly, install and launch Joyo Share Alt Fix on the computer. Plug your iPhone to the computer. After that, press the start button to proceed. You are now in the mode selection window. We can select the standard mode first, which will not cause any data loss. If the standard mode does work, we can try advanced mode, then press the next button. In this menu, there is a guideline how to put iPhone into DFU or recovery mode, and we need to put iPhone into DFU or recovery mode. Some of the info about your iPhone will be displayed on the screen. Make sure all the info is correct and change the wrong parts, then press the download button to download the matching firmware package. Lastly, click the repair button, the downloaded firmware package will be unzipped, and the program will start to fix your iPhone issue. A few minutes later, the repairing process will finish, and your iPhone will come back to the normal. Step 4. Restore iPhone via iTunes. Open iTunes and connect your iPhone to the trusted computer with original USB. Click the iPhone icon after it displays on the screen and then tap on Summary, if you don't backup before. You can choose Backup Now, after backup, you just press on Restore iPhone to factory reset your device. Step 5, Check Hardware Damage. If above fixes not work, it may the hardware issue, you can find a professional repair shop to check or contact Apple support.